It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. In this game, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And for Los Angeles, playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And tonight, two teams that love to get in transition. Shaq, talk about successfully running the break. Well, I'm not a guard, but I have led the break before. And what you need to do, you got to keep your eyes ahead, have to see the whole floor. You got to be willing to make that extra pass, Ernie. Wow. You talk like a guard. You, yeah. you, you were like a point guard up there. Well, thank you. Congratulations, man. But don't force things. That's the other part. You know, just make the easy play. And if it's not there, slow it down. Set up your half-court offense and then get it into the big guy if you have one. But don't you want to get the crowd on its feet? Don't you want to make that play that gets the whole arena up? Yes. You know what they used to call me, Ernie? What's that? Uh, Shaq Hick Johnson. Wow. Because he was like magic, but he was Shaq. I get it, Kenny. Oh, I'm just... I get it. Sometimes not, you don't. Not that dense. Shaq Hick Johnson. <laughs> K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. On the road looking for a win against a Western Conference rival, the San Antonio Spurs are ready for this thing to get started. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports. And along to Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And alongside us tonight, we have a very special guest you're going to enjoy. Five-time NBA champion, nine-time all-defensive first-team selection, Laker legend, the terrific Kobe Bryant. Kobe, great to see you. We're so excited to have you. No, thank you. I wouldn't miss a chance to stop by and call a game with you guys. You still watch a lot, don't you? I do. I do. I'm, I'm a big fan. In the last meeting for these two teams, the Lakers came away with the win against the San Antonio Spurs. And guys, they come into this one looking for win number three on the season against these guys. They already have won the first two. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, guys, we know how much of a trailblazer LeBron James has been. He's taken charge of his own free agency to ensure that he is almost always on a contender. He has made it clear he has no interest in being around mediocrity. Kevin? You're right, D.A. He wants rings and nothing less. And, Kobe, you look at the different styles and different approaches the teams employ. How much input did you have to say, hey, this is what I'm seeing, this is how I think we should play? Yeah, well, that, that was the beauty about Phil's system, the triangle, was that the players had to take the responsibility of making it what it was. Right, he gave us a format to play out of, and he gave us the structure. But within that structure, you have a myriad of options. Right. And it's our responsibility, it was Michael's and Scotty's responsibility, to figure out how to put Luke Longley, how to put Derek Fisher in the right spot on the floor to take advantage of the defense that you're facing. Sounds complicated. No, but you know, when you, when you look at it, like the triangle, it spells things out very simplistically because you have rules. Right. When you have rules, then it's very easy to say, okay, when this happens, this happens. Mm -hmm. When that happens, this happens, right? So it makes the game very, very easy to measure. And so things don't happen on accident, right? They happen with intent. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for San Antonio. DeRozan and Aldridge, the talented forward duo. Then there's Pirtle. Then there's Murray. And it's Walker in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Kuzma following the miss by DeRozan. Puts it up from seven. And Pirtle pulls it down. Aldridge, the pass to Walker. DeRozan in the corner. No good on the triple. Last outing for San Antonio, it was a loss to Utah. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Kuzma with it, 
Now guarded by DeRozan. Kuzma can't get it to go. Pass to Murray. James with some nice D. Yeah, a little bit surprising he hasn't connected on at least one of his three shots yet, but uh, he's going to keep shooting. And yes, it's good. Ingram's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Lakers. And you have to have an appreciation for Ball's passing skills. I mean, he just sees the floor beautifully, easily working the ball over to open teammates. Now here's Murray. Eight points his last outing, and it's good two points. After 20 years in the NBA, Kobe, you were able to play with so many people. Who is most like you among guys you played with? Who you would have said, this guy is like-minded. Like, like would Garrett Fisher fit that category? Yeah, D. Fish was tough. Yeah. D. Fish was tough. Adam Morrison, actually, believe it or not. No kidding. Adam Morrison. It made really? practices. It, it, it drove us because he was competitive in practice. I mean, he tried to play defense. I mean, he couldn't move laterally with the athleticism that most yeah. players could. But he was competing hard every single day, man. I mean, he had a, he had a lot of competitive you like that? Him. Oh, yeah. My whole team was built like that. We had a lot of guys that were temperamental. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. of temperamental guys yeah. that you look at and say, you know what? You're not going to win a championship with that group. And we sit back and we laugh to this day. Uh, Shannon Brown and I will get together and we'll talk about the old days. Yeah. We'll just look at each other and say, you know, do you believe you won a championship with a bunch of misfits? <laughs> but collectively, I guess, right, there was something that obviously worked. Yeah, we're all crazy. Yeah. And so, you know, when you take a bunch of crazy and you focus it on one thing, it tends to work there out. There it is, yeah. There it is. Another ring. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's Ball. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Walker against Ingram. Here's Aldridge. Eyes again. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Not the most aggressive or bouncy rebounder in the league. Aldridge picks his spots and knows how to use his length to take advantage. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Free throw is good, now leading by one. Second player taken in the 2006 NBA draft. Aldridge has been an all-star multiple times and one of the game's most prolific scorers over the past decade. Now here's Ingram. 17 points for him last game against Phoenix. Here's LeBron. That one drops for him. James has got his second basket of the night. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Uh, this is also one of those things where you start to think about how you're going to change your defense already. If at all possible, make someone else beat you. Now, here's DeRozan following the miss by LaMarcus Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. Love the follow-up. It's as if Aldridge knows where the shot's coming from and gets himself in great position on the glass. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played... Well, Kobe, you're known as one of the greatest Lakers of all time. I know you feel there are a lot of guys in that in that first line of the sentence, right? No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Guys that I've watched growing up. I mean, I, listen, I go all the way back to the days of Pollard and Mike and, and I've watched them all, uh, let alone the Baylors, you know, the, the Chamberlains, the Jabars, the Worthies. I mean, it's just... What names? I mean, what franchise has though? No one. Right? I mean, if you look up in the rafters and you see all the jerseys that are hanging up there, they're not some of the all-time Laker greats. They're some of the all-time greats, period. Right. Right, and Mind so to be lane. a part of that franchise is just mind-blowing. One shot. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Tyson Chandler is checked in for JaVale McGee. Josh Hart comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Lonzo Ball. And the free throw, no good. And, and guys, really no ceiling on Ingram. This is a guy who has the potential to be a truly great player before it's all done. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Changes up. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And it's six points for Brandon Ingram. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. 
And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. Ingram kicks to James. Ingram against DeRozan. DeRozan brings the double team. And it's Ingram missing. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Chandler with the block. That's what he does, Tyson Chandler, redirecting that one. And it's Ingram missing. Well, important to get great balance if you get bumped on your way to the basket. Still something that every player tries to get comfortable with. Now, here's Mills. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He's got just enough separation to let that one fly. So comfortable from long range. James, the pass to Ingram. LeBron, left side, 20 feet out, and he knocks down the jumper. LeBron's got six points. Yeah, it's LeBron James, the best player in the world. I'm not sure you can let him just rise up with great confidence like he did there. The pass to Mills, there's the three, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Lakers trail by five. Rondo kicks to LeBron to the paint here's Chandler yes it's James picking up the assist and Kobe I know you'd spend a fair amount of time watching video and scouting your opponents how would your films change from regular season to, to say the playoffs I had more time to prepare in the postseason so I can watch more film mm -hmm. and really focus on the entire package of the team that not, not, we're facing. Not, not just the guy that's defending you no not just the guy that's defending me all of it but all of it right right how do they play us defensively as a team how do they play us individually you know how do we need to play them as a team how do we need to play them individually you start looking at kind of the grand scheme of things in a regular season you know most of these film sessions for me at least anyway took place on the plane right right in between games right. so when I get to the hotel I can rest generally mm -hmm. a free throw off from Rudy Gay You're capable of playing either forward the versatility that Gay has important in today's league for him to stay around. And that one's good by Stevenson. I like that recognition. Effortlessly getting his teammate the ball in a spot where he knows he can do something with it. Now Mills. He has six. And Forbes kicks to Bertans. Over Chandler. Here's Forbes. A three-pointer off the mark. Lakers trail by three. Here's Hart. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Hart's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. San Antonio's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Here is Forbes, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. San Antonio again missing. Stevenson against Bellinelli. Now, here's Stevenson. Defense right on him. Got a hand on it. And Forbes kicks to Bellinelli. Passes it to Forbes. Spurs working the ball around now. Pass to Bertans. Chandler with the defensive effort. Yeah, I think the defense made an impact on that play, making the shooter feel a bit uncomfortable on release. You got to be a, a little bit questioning of the defense because I'm sure they feel foolish for giving that guy that look, but they survived it. Kobe, a lot of guys, once they stop playing, their bodies change. Yeah. Yet they still have the ailments. That, That's generous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but a lot of guys have ailments that, that linger on yeah. through their post uh, career. What kind of workout? We know you were just a workout fiend when you played, but what about now in, in, uh, in retirement? I work out hard. Do you? you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's become a challenge to say, because most players, when they retire, say, you know what, I just don't want to gain a, a boatload of weight. Mm -hmm. Right, and so they just try to, try to manage that. I don't want to manage something. I want to attack it. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to say, you know what? Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah revelation. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I said, I'm going to train harder than I ever did because I want to. I want to look good. I want to be fit mm -hmm. for my children. I want to be able to chase them around and be able to show up at some of these retirement ceremonies or some of these other things. And looking like you did when you played, being in great shape. Yeah. Hart, that's good. 
Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And, Kobe, you're staying in shape even now. Isn't it sad sometimes to see how a lot of guys don't do that? Yeah, it's hard, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you have a purpose to train. Yes. And now you wake up, you're like, oh, what's my purpose for training? Mm -hmm. like, oh, dude, I need to be doing this for you. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And all of a sudden, those handles start creeping from the back to the front. Yeah, oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Tomorrow's today. My clothes don't fit. <laughs> yeah. My clothes yeah. don't fit. Tomorrow should have been yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lakers making a change here. Bullock's checked in. For a guy who doesn't love the contact inside, Mills taking it up strong. Lakers leading by three. Stevenson outside. Kicks it to LeBron. It's stolen by Bellinelli. Down low and stolen by LeBron. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Rondo's shot is good. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Spurs trail by five. Mills looking it over. Bellinelli with the three. Kept alive. It's good on the putback. Rondo with it. Currently averaging almost six points a game. And Kobe, I remember you saying that curiosity is such a valuable trait in a player. I, I bet the triangle was a very intriguing offense for you to learn and grasp. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's, uh, it created such a system. It's like... You know, uh, jazz. When people watch jazz musicians orchestrate, and it seems as if they're freelancing, but they're freelancing with a built-in structure. You have to have structure mm -hmm. in order to be able to freelance and create these amazing things. And the triangle gave unbelievable structure. And, you know, some of the people that I've talked to that have competed against the triangle and lost against the triangle, whether it was to us or to the Bulls, all lament about the triangle is the biggest crock of garbage. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. you and Michael. And I said, you know what? Let's have a conversation about that. You remember this play? Yeah. Okay, that play happened at the moment it happened with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter because we knew in the first minute of the game when we ran it, you did this defensively. So we said, okay, they did that. Check. Well, wait. Okay, now let's look at this Tell action. Me. Okay, Good this shot. action, how are they playing this action? They're playing Good it shot. that way. All right, check. Hold it. We'll wait. Interesting. <laughs> right? Very and so in the fourth quarter, we're able to take advantage. Why? Because we have a structure. And from that structure, we know what you are doing, and we know how to counter what you're doing. Right? There's a reason Michael can look at Steve Kerr in a timeout and said, be ready. How would he know that? Yeah, right. How right. would he know that yeah. unless he knew every time he drove middle, Stockton was coming over to help on his dribble penetration? He could have made that pass to Steve Kerr in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Why did he wait? That's good stuff. <laughs> He can't get it to go. Wow. Just in shock that he missed that layup. Not a lot of defense there. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marco Bellinelli. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, even with all of the impressive number of seasons under his belt, LeBron James retains this kind of remarkable drive and competitive spirit. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And both free throws good for LeBron. 125 left to play in the first. Now here's Mills. He's covered by Ball. Back to Mills. Stolen by Ball. Pass to Bullock. Back to Ball. But three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. And Mills kicks to Bellinelli. Now here's Mills. James covering. Mills can't hit. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. A 12-point game. Ball, no good. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. To the middle, here's Gay. 
shot to stop the run. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Now that's a little bit out of the Rudy Gay experience there. Used to absorbing contact on the way up. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line earlier. Hard. He's checked in for James. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Jakob Pertles checked in for Bertinus. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Marco Bellinelli. Walker's checked in for Brent Forbes. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Patty Mills. And that one misses. Knocked away. And stolen by Gay. Yep, that one goes in there. Gay's got his third bucket of the night. That's too easy. A player of Rudy Gay's scoring prowess. He's salivating on shots like that. Ball against Murray. Out to the right wing. Floats one up. McGee's shot is off. It could go. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Now you see a lot of players who pick up a controller and fire up NBA 2K, thank goodness, <laughs> including the king himself, LeBron James. I play 2K all the time. Seriously, when I'm playing the game, I'm putting certain lineups on the court that I see could actually help us in real life, which is very weird. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, Greg, with basketball. And that's who Braun is. He lives, breathes, and eats basketball. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? And boy, I tell you, it didn't take them long to find their rhythm. Strong offense through one. A nice game plan coming in, and right now sticking to it. It's a nice lead that they have. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. All out there with Hart, and it's Bullock in at the three slot. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, of course, there's no shortage of storylines in Los Angeles. Now, last season, some people thought that Lakers coach Luke Walton had lost his players and the front office seemed slow to come to his defense. Now, Walton was a high-profile hire from Golden State in 2016, and you wonder if the Lakers will remain committed to their young coach if they can't start winning more regularly. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And the Lakers making a change here. Ingram's checked in. Last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Suns. Tough night. I mean, they attacked on both ends, and, and unfortunately for them, they just got called for a lot of fouls. Well, unfortunate's a good word, Greg, but on the other hand, you have to make an adjustment. Not every game is going to be called the same way, so adjust to the whistle. And they say the capacity for work is one of the great indicators for an NBA prospect. That, that motivation. Kobe, I can't believe you had a lot of trouble being motivated, knowing the way you are, the way you're wired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got to find what makes you tick. Right. Right? And sometimes it's harder for players to look internally and figure out what that is. And so as coaches or teachers or parents, you know, it's our responsibility to find what that is in our children or players or students and bring it out of them. Well said. And here is Los Angeles now following the bucket by the Spurs. Rebounded by the Spurs. Aldridge has got his sixth rebound on the night. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And he recovers it. DeRozan. Here's Pirtle. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Murray against Ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Pirtle. That's his first foul.
Ingram against Aldridge. Tipped away. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Aldridge. A rebound by the Lakers. Ingram outside. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Murray right side. Shoots. Cans the shot from the wing. Murray's got his second basket of the night. Lakers leading by four. Now, here's Ball. There's the dish to Ingram. That's good from 17 feet away. Ingram's got eight points. And you gotta respect the level of concentration Ingram maintains at all times. Doesn't matter if he's wide open or pressured. This guy is a lights-out performer. And they pick up two. Let's talk about something that I know fascinates basketball fans, Kobe, having that competitive streak, which is something that runs deep for you. Uh, talk about the desire to dominate and completely destroy your, <laughs> your opponent. Well, it's the spirit of competition, right? I, I don't think you're doing anybody any uh, service by going out there and competing half-hearted. Mm -hmm. right? If you truly respect the person that you're facing, and the right thing to do is to compete as hard as you possibly can against them to bring the best out of them. And that's on both ends of the floor. You can't be a, a one-way dominant player. You can't just compete on the offensive end and take it off on the defensive end. You got to play both sides of the ball. Your motor never stopped. I mean, that, that's from our perspective on the sideline, watching you play on both ends of the floor, like you said. Yeah, you got to keep going. And, and to do that, you have to train really, really hard in the offseason. I mean, yeah. that, that's a lot of conditioning. It's a lot of weight training, right? You have to train in extraordinary ways in order to do extraordinary things. And Los Angeles with some changes. Tyson Chandler is checked in for JaVale McGee. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Lonzo Ball. Now here's Rondo. Ingram attacking. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Now he's a heady player. He knows how to get himself going and giving his team a real advantage right now on the offensive end. The Lakers have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And when you think of free throw shooting, not particularly a strength for this group right around 70%. Not just a great shot maker these days. Aldridge can still throw it down on you if you let him get all the way in. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Three-point lead. Ingram outside. Goes up at the stripe. The rebound by the Spurs. DeRozan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. It's stolen by DeRozan. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Rondo kicks to Hart. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got six assists now in the game. San Antonio again turning it over. And a look at the recent power rankings. Some interesting stories here in the early part of December. You look at Houston. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And right now, the Spurs, they've had an interesting start to the year. Lately, they've put together some nice wins, and you get the general sense that their confidence is growing. And Stevenson's checked in for Brandon Ingram. Bellinelli, he's checked in for San Antonio. Stevenson with a clean look. And again, no good by the Lakers. Spurs trail by three. To the inside, Aldridge. No good, shot missing. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. And that'll be his third foul so far. And now only one away from being in the penalty. LeBron, he's checked in for the Lakers. Then for the Spurs. Bertinus, he's checked in for Jakob Pertl. Gay comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Murray. Rondo scanning the floor. He kicks to LeBron. And the pass to Stevenson. Lakers working the ball around now. Six to shoot. Here's Hart. He's covered by Gay. But they'll get another chance. Stevenson outside. 
Let's a floater go. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Spurs trail by five. And Forbes kicks to Bertans. Gay against LeBron. Gay passes to Bertans. Outside to Rosen. Good D by Stevenson. Now this just doesn't seem to be his night or his teams for that matter either. And they got to pull it together here quick or it's going to be lights out. James, no good. The Spurs have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. And right now, I, I think just his demeanor is hurting the team. His shooting's been off, and he knows it. The ball's stolen. And Forbes kicks to Bertans. Looking to end his cold spell. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to just three in the basket from DeRozan. Now you could just tell in his gait and in the look on his face, he's in a great rhythm after a terrific first quarter. He is feeling it here in the second. Now here's Stevenson. He's got eight. Pass to Hart. Shoots over DeRozan. Hart, no good. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. Some defenses are okay with giving up the mid-range shot. In this case, they contest it. Here's Gay. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Utah Jazz. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds. Guys, can't forget about the fundamentals. Two shots, gentlemen. Two. The Spurs shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. He can't get the first one. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Hart. Mills, he's checked in for the Spurs. And the second free throw, good. And here is Los Angeles now. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Rondo finds Stevenson. And that's collected by Gay. Gay's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Mills. Pass to Gay. Just five on the clock. Here's Bellinelli. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. These are the teams that have been really dominant in the paint so far this season. In third, the Lakers. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. And the first one at the line is good. Whitey's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. drops he ties it up encouraging sign there to see him knock down the free throw Los Angeles has gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second here's Stevenson dishes it to Chandler and the dunk by Chandler yeah Chandler doesn't have a long way to go but he gets up for that one and so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs to the middle. Here's White. Gay trying to break free. And it's White missing. Los Angeles has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Rondo. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. I'm not sure what you do now. Rondo is pulling off some of those moves, and then your defense pretty much becomes helpless. Now, here's Mills. He's guarded by Bullock. 
outside. Bellinelli drills the three-pointer. Bellinelli's got five points in the quarter. How about the fearlessness? And even in the face of the D, Bellinelli there makes him pay. Rondo dishes to Stevenson. Over game. Bellinelli pulls it in. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. The three for Mills. A rebound by the Lakers. And here's Bullock. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The shot by Rondo is no good. Bellinelli against Stevenson. The pass to Bertens. Out to the right wing. Here's White. Lays it up off the glass. White's got his first basket of the night. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Los Angeles calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And the Lakers with some changes. JaVale McGee comes in for Chandler. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Hondexers check in. Now here's Stevenson. Eight points for him. Stolen by Gay. A solo fast break. Hondexter with it. Now guarded by Stevenson. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. The Spurs have converted four of seven free throws on the night. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Pondexter. There's 138 left in the first half of basketball. And the Lakers with another turnover here. And a moment to see numbers for Ball. Third in assists. And he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And as you mentioned, top three in assists right now. He does a great job of running the offense, spotting the open guy, and making the sound delivery. Now here's Mills. He's got eight. Out to the wing. Here's Pondexter. Rebound the Lakers. Stevenson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That free throw good from Lance Stevenson. All free throws good from Lance Stevenson. Kobe, I know you can't stay any longer, but I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of our fans watching and playing the game tonight. Always a pleasure to uh, have you drop by our broadcast. No, thank you for having me, man. And, uh, anytime. There he is, the legendary Kobe Bryant. And Brent, we know just how competitive Kobe was as a player, and it's always nice to hear a more reflected side of him when he joins us here in the booth. One of the things that you notice, Kevin, when you're in the booth here versus the role that you play as a player, especially for a guy who lives and breathes basketball like Kobe Bryant. Here's Mills following the bucket by the Lakers. San Antonio again missing. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got five now. And the height of ball really allows him to finish over the defense. Even when you make contact, he just seems to power through with his size. Now, here's Bellinelli. Five points in the game. Out left of the wing. Here's Gay. That shot, no good. LeBron with some nice D. And LeBron throws it down. <laughs> Somebody didn't get the memo. You left a clear lane for LeBron James. Now Gabe. Got it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Like the way LeBron uses his body sometimes on the defensive end is not afraid to get a little bit physical, especially after all that bumping he takes on the offensive end. 
And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Lakers on top as they dominate the last minutes of the quarter on an 8-0 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Uh, we didn't make shots. Thank you for that insightful analysis, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all about the Lakers as the game got going. They led by as many as 12 points, fueled by tough defense and great offense. They did not slow down much, as by the end of the quarter, they were still up 11. Going into the second quarter, they lost a little focus, sacrificed some points, but still finished with a four-point cushion at the half. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Brandon Ingram with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, on the cut, off the dribble, he is a factor, and we saw that in the first half. Coaches talk about having slashers on the team, and this is what they do. They get into the heart of the defense. They force difficult rotations. He's been tough to contain. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big-name free agents, and they succeeded. They got the biggest name of them all in LeBron. LeBron coming to L.A. completely shifts the mindset of this organization. Team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well. Still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now. On the court right now for the Spurs... DeRozan and Aldridge, the talented forward duo. Then there's Murray. Then there's Pirtle. And it's Walker in at the two-guard spot. Lakers leading by six. Inside, here's McGee. And the slam dunk by McGee. And right now, the game plan seems to be working. It looks like this team has finally gotten into the club and found its rhythm, trying their best to pull away. Now here is Aldridge. Over James. Aldridge. Good. Aldridge has got nine. Not many, if any, bigs in the league have a more proficient mid-range game. Aldridge with the soft touch there. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Kuzma kicks the ball. On the wing, James. Four on the shot clock. Fade away. And the Lakers tack on two more. Yeah, they're playing with a huge bit of confidence and some fire here. They've recorded three in a row here, guys. DeRozan passes to Aldridge. Back to DeRozan. Over James. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier and stolen by Murray. And how about the stingy defense there to deny that pass? <laughs> LeBron throwing that one away hard. There's a message behind that block. Wide open look here for Murray. No good on the quick three. Los Angeles leading by eight. Here's Ball, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, and ball size makes him a difficult guy to guard. He uses it well to pick up fouls while shooting. 
No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Well, there's a ton of talk about Lonzo Ball, but if you focus just on what he brings to an offense, there's a lot to like. Yeah, I mean, he just sees so much on the floor. I mean, he sees all the cuts and angles, both offensively and defensively. And, and we know his shot will be a work in progress, but it shows some improvement in consistency the second half of last year. And for all the circus that can surround Ball off the court, you forget that he is already an elite playmaker in the NBA. He throw good Murray. He makes one of two that time. Talk about what it means to be a good teammate, Brent. You've uh, played with, with good ones. You've played with bad ones. I've always thought you were team first when you play. Well, I appreciate that, Kevin. There's, there's just, uh, you know, an idea about what it is that you can contribute to the team. I think you always have to accentuate those ideals. Your approach on a daily basis has to be consistent. And if you're a starting player, it's, it's one mentality. And if you're somebody that plays off the bench you have to come to practice every day to push the guy that's in front of you and wait for your opportunity but most of the time it's that kind of consistency with which you come to work and the attitude of making sure that I want to make any kind of contribution I can for our team's success that usually is a pretty good formula for a good teammate but only the first miss of the second half they've come out here with authority DeRozan's shot is off, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's foul number two for him. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for San Antonio. Los Angeles leading by seven. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, traditionally such an accurate three-point shooting team, the Spurs last year in a bit of a funk finished 26th in three-point percentage. That's after being first in the league four out of the last eight years. And checking out numbers for DeMar DeRozan. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Averaging 33 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts naturally are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach. And it's awesome. Now, I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. I'm talking about the Spurs last season, Brent. Much of their offense was running through LaMarcus Aldridge. Well, he had a remarkable year. Maybe his best year of his career. He looked so much more comfortable in his role. And without Kawhi Leonard, they leaned on him a ton. I think he enjoyed that. He responded with a great year. Oh, how pretty was that? Use the rim to protect the ball perfectly. The Spurs have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. The Lakers making a switch here. Hart's checked in. One shot, gentlemen. That's good from Forbes. Brent, when you won your first championship back in 2005, you were inserted into the starting lineup in the playoffs against the Nuggets. What did that feel like? Well, that was a lot of fun. I, I joked around a lot about I was replacing Manu in the starting lineup. Uh, it was very exciting to have that opportunity, and obviously that team that year going on to do great things. The goal we set out to do was win the championship. Uh, mission accomplished. He gets it in there. And not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but, but he can also contribute inside. The way he releases his shot makes it very difficult to block. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water. It was like an urban war zone. 
We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. And his drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. And what a draft day steal for the Lakers, who were able to get Kyle Kuzma, who had been drafted 27th overall. Yeah, Kuzma came into the league far more polished than anyone expected. And you have to credit the young man's hard work and how he was able to make such a big splash that rookie year. And, and with how hard he works, Kuzma is going to be an impactful player in this league for a long time. Now, here's Walker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Spurs have converted seven of 11 free throw attempts up to this point in the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Walker. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting cast. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. Over the last decade or so, a huge transformation, Brent, in the way games are played. Do you see any additional changes on the horizon? I wonder if the league will think about, and I think it'd be interesting if they had a three-point line that just disintegrated into the sideline. We have the split, and we have the archway, right? We go down the sidelines. It'd be really interesting if the league, maybe in summer league, experimented with the three-point line being equidistant the whole way around. And going right out of bounds. Yeah, so right out of bounds, it eliminates the corner three. It would, it would impact the way you would defend the corner shot because now it doesn't have a, a value of three. One point more for a shorter shot seems to be a little unfair as it is. And we know it's the most valuable shot in basketball. There's no doubt. But uh, I wonder how that would look. And maybe Adam Silver and the committee will look at a summer league where the three-point line just disappears in the sideline, eliminating the corner three. Aldridge and right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Great size and great balance for a big man. Aldridge does a superb job of finishing through the contact. Now here's Ingram. 15 points in the game. Here's Rondo. And it's sent back by Aldridge. DeRozan surveying the D. Here is Forbes. He's covered by Rondo. Knocked away. Forbes dishes to DeRozan. Good on the baseline, Jay. Now just a two-point Los Angeles lead. And you want to talk about high-volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission, putting his mark on this game in a big way. And it's Ingram missing. Walker against Ingram. Walker's shot is off. The Lakers have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Here's Hart, and it's sent back by Aldridge. There's that length and anticipation. Hard to get the ball over Aldridge in that scenario. Passes it to Wagner. Lets it go with a three. Buries it from three point range. Wagner's got five points in the quarter just like to see the defense get more aggressive they are asking for trouble as they're giving up open looks to this point San Antonio calls timeout uh, the former Blue Devil Brandon Ingram was taken second overall back in 16 was deemed as untouchable by his front office as they rebuilt the roster he's a big part of what the Lakers want to do over the next few years here's what the Lakers are going with right now Muscala, he's checked in for Wagner. And Stevenson comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Brandon Ingram. Now here's Rondo. Kicks it to Bullock. Rondo with it. Back to Bullock. Takes a three. Rebound San Antonio. Bellinelli's got four rebounds in this game. 
And it was Magic Johnson, Greg, who said Ingram is untouchable. Also feels Ingram can be an elite scorer. Yeah, I mean, Ingram certainly has the makeup and skills to be a first option on offense. And, and when he heard of how highly Magic thought of him, it, it made Ingram want to work even harder. You can certainly see the huge leaps he's made as a scorer since Magic kind of gave him that vote of confidence. And you look at what the Spurs went through last year, it just, it just was not a pretty season, just not something you know, that we've seen from the Spurs in 25 years. Still clinched the playoff berth, and that was their 21st season in a row. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marco Bellinelli. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. For Los Angeles, they have made nine free throws in the game, 14 attempts. First one falls for him. And that Spurs run started back in 1998. A lot of those players are now in their 50s. Yep, great names like David Robinson, Chuck Person, Avery Johnson, Will Perdue, Vinny Del Negro, all past the half century mark. And I'm sorry, guys. Kevin Harlan was the one who talked about you guys being that old. Now, here's DeRozan. He's got 15. He feeds it to Mills. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on LeBron James. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Two shots. First free throw is good. The one thing when you watch Patty Mills play, Brent, he is great at anticipating what is about to happen. Well, it's obviously most noticeable when he's off the ball. A good sense of when to slip a screen or, or change pace a little bit to, to get some space. Very natural sense of spacing the floor and being set up for the three-point shot. He hits both from the strike. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the line. Now, here's Stevenson. He's got 10. LeBron kicks to Bullock. Pass to Stevenson. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from the wing. Nice jump shot. Good. Stevenson's got 12 points in the game. Spurs trail by seven. On the wing, Bellinelli. He dishes it to Gay, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Look at the Lakers. Off to a great start this season, currently in second. And, of course, the Spurs, five and a half games behind. And I think for San Antonio, they basically lived up to the expectations so far this season and that's not really good news for their fan base because those expectations only had them on the brink of the playoff unfortunately those expectations were right on the money they just weren't ready to join that elite group of teams at the top of this league and they're still in the playoff picture and we all know anything can happen in the postseason JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers DeRozan again, Stevenson. And DeRozan, here we go. That one falls. He's got 17. Uh, right now, he is locked in. He's getting great shots, and he's burning the D in a variety of ways. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've held a 12-point lead early. McGee trying to break free. Rondo gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by nine. Uh, the understanding that Rondo's showing right now in the pick and roll is setting up some great opportunity. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. L.A.'s gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The dish to Bullock. He kicks it to McGee. In the corner, it's James. 
No good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Mills can't hit. Yeah, another missed opportunity, and, and you can just see the frustration. Yeah, when your shot's in the fridge like this, it's easy to lose your confidence, and that's why some of the most prolific scorers, they have short-term memories. Lonzo Ball is checked in for Los Angeles. San Antonio also making some changes. Cunningham comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And Murray subbed in for Bellinelli. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And San Antonio also making a switch. Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Dante Cunningham. Stevenson against Gay. To the inside. Here's James. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. Stevenson's got three assists tonight. Yeah, you wonder when LeBron James wants to have one of those big nights when he gets going like this. We could be in for a great show. Now, here's Aldridge. 11 points in the game. Pass to Mills. Bertans kicks to Murray. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. screen. And looking now at some numbers for Rudy Gay. He's really stood out for them over the past month. He's putting up about 17 points, just over two steals, and five rebounds. And he's a real threat defensively. You look at his steals during this stretch, always lurking for the smallest mistake. And he's causing a lot of those mistakes, too. He's just harassing you 94 feet and does not give you an inch. James wide open. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Here's Murray. And just miss after miss right now. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Bertans. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Brent, for as long as Coach Popovich has been at the top of this game, what really is there left to say? I don't think there's much more you say on a professional level, uh, but there's a lot to be said about the compassion and the things that Pop has done on a personal level for years behind the scenes, championing guys on his staff, supporting not only current players, but former players on his team. The interesting thing for Pop the last couple of years is just how outspoken he's been in terms of the equality, not just around the NBA, but around our nation and some of the statements he's made that have garnered a lot of political attention. Greg Popovich not afraid to express some of the things that maybe deep down we all believe in. And he makes the first. And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. Looking comfortable there from the line. Knows he needs to come through for his team at the charity stripe. Now here's Ball. He has five. On the wing, James. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Spurs trail by 13. The four and five are the athletic duo of LeBron and McGee. 
Hart is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's Stevenson in at the small forward position. That's the Laker five. Here's Aldridge. The shot from the low post is good. Aldridge has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for San Antonio. And the pass to James. From 10 feet out, no good off the back of the rim. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Dishes it to Murray. Here's Bertans. James covering. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be Lance Stevenson. And after the Lakers landed LeBron, the talk was about if they would add Kawhi Leonard as well. Ultimately, it didn't happen. Lakers want to keep their young guns in the end. And LeBron has said he felt that the team was ready without Kawhi Two and shots. came to the Lakers because Two of that shots. youthful core they had in place. And he can't get the first one. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. Pirtle, he's checked in for the Spurs. And he's good on the second. Well, with Kawhi Leonard gone, a new era for the Spurs. Even with the addition of DeMar DeRozan, San Antonio looks to be entering their most significant rebuild in decades. Yeah, but, but at least they were able to get a star in DeRozan. Now, I would call it more of a reload than a rebuild for the Spurs. Still a lot of talent to work with on that roster. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. And James gets it to go. James has got 26. Well, a little bit of separation there. That's the challenge. You want LeBron to make it from the mid-range. Guess what? He can do that, too. Gay finds Aldridge. Back to Gay. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Bertel, the pass to Murray. 17-foot shot on the way. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And the soft hands of Pirtle on display there just has such a nice stroke from the mid-range. Here's Ingram. The tray. And Ball gets it to go on the assist from Ingram. Ingram's got assist number five here tonight. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Murray dishes to Pirtle. Outside Aldridge. Tries a three. That one, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Spurs trail by 13. Low block shot on the way. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his third foul of the game. The Spurs making a switch here. Forbes checked in. And San Antonio has possession. Pirtle kicks to Murray. They get it again. A second chance effort. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's the type of finisher he is. Aldridge takes the contact but still has the strength and touch to drain the shot. We'll see if he can add to it there at the line. One shot. No doubt that last season was the best year LaMarcus has had, not just as a spur, but maybe ever. Numbers across the board, both offensively and defensively, carrying and shouldering the load without Kawhi Leonard for just about all the season. It's pretty impressive stuff. Los Angeles calls timeout. And for Aldridge last year, ran a far cry from when he asked to be traded. But then had a sit-down with Greg Popovich, and that seemed to straighten things out. Yeah, there were some frustrations for him, and the only way as a player you're going to have clarity is to, to sit down with your coach and, and hash it out, and Pop was more than willing to do that and reset some things for LaMarcus Aldridge, and they figured out a way to get through it, and it seems like whatever that clarity was, it worked out best for, for both parties. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Luke Walton was just talking about strategy with his team. He was very adamant in the huddle. He said, don't let up now. 
stay aggressive and do the things that have gotten us this far. We're almost there. Guys, here's Pirtle. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Murray. Now here's Walker. Defense right on him. Aldridge the pass to Murray. Shoots over ball. Murray no good. Lakers leading by 10. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And James gets it to go. Like seeing LeBron go straight up with that shot. The catch and release almost instantaneous that time. Murray kicks to Forbes. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists in the game. And when the D is this non-existent, it's pretty easy for shooters. Fishing with dynamite. Now, here's Ball. McGee in the high post. Here's Hart, guarded by Walker. Six on the shot clock. The 11-footer, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Jakob Pertl. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. No good on that one. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. The Spurs also with the sub. DeRozan's checked in. This Laker team led by LeBron didn't need a lot of time to adjust to one another. Greg, a great start to the season for them. You would think with all the youth and the vets, they would need some time to gel. Team has got off to a hot start, though, and their focus has been terrific. Not a surprise LeBron has everyone falling in line. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early, and just one more will put him over the limit. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. James has got his seventh rebound here tonight. From 13, and the Lakers with another miss. You can't afford to let guys get comfortable there. The defense somehow avoided that shot from going in. Walker against Ingram. For three, Murray. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got eight rebounds in this game. Well, his struggles are consuming the rest of the team here tonight. He's got to find his rhythm and find it fast. Here's Murray. He makes the Johnny from the left block. And the Lakers with possession here. 17 points was their biggest margin. Ingram against Walker. 13 feet away. And that one's good, Ingram. And, and you have to love seeing Ingram knock down the mid-range J. A, a lethal scorer who nails these shots with consistency. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup. And for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. JaVale McGee's check in for Hart. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. Trailing by 10. To the right side. Pirtle, no one around him. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Kuzma passes to Ingram. To the paint, stolen by Walker. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Here's Pirtle. McGee with the block. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. He had a nice open look right there. And that's 10 points for Lonzo Ball. And Ball has tremendous confidence in that shot. As soon as the pass hits his hands, he's ready to pull up. Now here's DeRozan. Rebounded by McGee. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. You know, sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Ingram. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Ingram uses that floater so effectively. Pulls it out of his bag when the defense isn't expecting. Walker finds Aldridge. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And that's 20 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. 
Now here's LeBron. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. Makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. Now, here's Kuzma. Back to LeBron. Shot clock at three. It's stolen by DeRozan. Looking to get it going. Walker the pass to Murray. Stolen by McGee. LeBron against Aldridge. Here's Ingram. Nice D from DeRozan. Spurs trail by 13. Up top, Walker. He's covered by Ingram. Aldridge can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. McGee trying to break free. Wonderful anticipation from Pirtle on that one, positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Ingram's running, shoots over Walker, and again, no good by the Lakers. Spurs shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on LeBron James. Prior to the start of the last season, Aldridge signed a contract extension to stay with San Antonio to the surprise of many. Most fans thought he wanted out. Well, I think the Spurs bet on Aldridge turning things around a little bit. Maybe after one year in the system, he would find it to be a little bit more comfortable and he ended up having one of his best seasons to date I mean you could include his years in Portland in that uh, as a cornerstone for the Spurs franchise now sometimes it just takes a clear head and a little bit of communication and Pop and LaMarcus sat down and had that talk and last year he had a, a tremendous tremendous season yeah heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down that's good from McGee there's no longer a home and road designation as far as light and dark jerseys. Is that an issue at all? I mean, not, not really. It's a little uh, off-putting some games where you just flip on and you're your trying brains, to figure out where they yeah, exactly, exactly. Where, exactly. Where is this game being played? Yes. Um, but uh, with with how many alternate jerseys last year teams had and specialty jerseys uh, they had, it's it's a lot of fun to see the uh, apparel companies paint a different picture on the floor. Here's Ball following the basket by LaMarcus Aldridge. Ball kicks to James. Over Walker. Here's McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. I mean, it looks simple, but LeBron makes it look that way, Kevin. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. San Antonio calls timeout. And he could tell. His guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Passes it to DeRozan. Shoots over Kuzma. DeRozan's shot is off. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And LeBron throws it down. LeBron James, here's the report, Kevin. Still athletic. And DeRozan, here we go. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in Mark. his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Timeout called the Lakers. Well, just look at the list of career accomplishments by LBJ. To me, the best small forward that's ever played this game, and on the short list of the best player to ever lace him up.
They can burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Pass to Kuzma. Out to the right wing. Here's McGee. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Jakob Purdy. And, guys, isn't it great to see a player who, who works that hard on the glass at both ends? Well said, G. That's the way he has built, you know, his reputation. Grinding away 100% effort all the time. And then uses his explosiveness once he's gathered the rebound to throw it down. Now, here's Aldridge. Not really his range, and it's off target. Brent, with LeBron being one of the all-time greats, he is certainly the greatest player of this generation, wouldn't you say? A absolutely. Ever since he came into the league, I mean, there's just been, in my opinion, no missteps whatsoever. He's handled himself on the floor with uh, an incredible determination to prove that, Kevin. All the hype, all the anticipation, uh, he's lived up to it about tenfold. When a guy is capable of so many things like that on the offensive end, anytime you lose sight of him, he's got a huge advantage. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, I mean, that's a rugged play. Goodness gracious. Well, he's always a threat down there around the rim. Throw the ball up. Let Tyson go get it. And Walker kicks to Bellinelli. Fifty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Rondo with a clean look. Bangs home the trifecta. Running up the score, showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka -ching. <laughs> You're right. Hey, yo, Marco, Marco, Marco. There's an is, the pass to Forbes. Now here's Rondo. He's tightly guarded. Hey, Rondo, Rondo, Rondo. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Rocket six. The three ball. And Pirtle pulls it down. And the Spurs with possession. Here's Bellinelli. And Stevenson pulls it in. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Outside Rondo. And that one drops. And you can tell... They're ready to start celebrating a, a well-deserved victory here tonight. Yeah, you can see the fans. They've already started celebrating themselves. A gutty performance. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, were you satisfied with the team's performance tonight? Uh, we got a very good team, but in order for us to continue to improve, we have to go out and we have to defend, we have to play for one another, and we have to be selfless. You know, it's not about the individual, it's about the team, and if we all give in to what the team needs to do to be better, then, then we'll be okay. It is a work in progress, LeBron. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.